dive into the depths of theology with us as we explore the concept of eternal justification. This intriguing doctrine purports that God's decree of justification for the elect has existed eternally, before the dawn of time itself. A concept that transcends our understanding of time and space, it injects a fascinating layer of complexity into theological debates. In this journey, we start from the origins, move through time, and arrive at the present understanding of this profound doctrine. The roots of eternal justification trace back to the theological debates of the 16th and 17th centuries. This was a time when the Reformation was in full swing, a period marked by religious upheaval and the quest for spiritual clarity. Martin Luther and John Calvin, two key figures of the Reformation, played instrumental roles in the development of this doctrine. Luther, with his bold proclamation of faith alone, and Calvin, with his emphasis on God's sovereignty, laid the groundwork for the concept of eternal justification. The doctrine didn't emerge without controversy, however. Theological debates raged, with scholars grappling over the implications of a justification that was not just momentary, but eternal. Some embraced this idea, seeing it as a profound testament to God's boundless grace. Others, however, feared it could lead to moral complacency. The doctrine, though complex, was a significant point of discussion during the Reformation, shaping the foundation for future theological discourse. Understanding eternal justification requires a deep dive into its theological underpinnings. At the heart of this doctrine lie core concepts such as predestination, election, and God's sovereignty. Let's consider predestination. This is the belief that God, in his infinite wisdom and sovereignty, has chosen, or predestined, certain individuals for salvation. This choice was made before the foundation of the world, demonstrating the eternal aspect of justification. The concept of election dovetails with predestination. It speaks of God's divine selection, asserting that salvation is not based on human merit or actions, but solely on God's gracious and unmerited favor. God's sovereignty underscores these concepts. It's the idea that God, as the supreme authority, exercises full control over all aspects of existence, including the salvation of humanity. Now, how does eternal justification contrast with other views of justification? Well, it diverges significantly from views that emphasize human free will or cooperation with God's grace. Eternal justification, on the other hand, centers on God's eternal decree and his initiative in saving his elect. This doctrine is also intimately related to the broader theology of salvation. It affirms that salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. It underscores the security of the believer, asserting that those God has justified will indeed be saved. The doctrine of eternal justification, in essence, presents a unique perspective on God's plan of salvation for his elect. Fast forward to today, the doctrine of eternal justification continues to influence theological thought and practice. It's a topic that invites a spectrum of views, with some circles accepting it as a cornerstone of Christian doctrine, while others offer pointed criticism. In the realm of acceptance, many see eternal justification as a profound reflection of God's boundless grace. They interpret it as an affirmation that God's love and forgiveness were never conditional, but eternally present, even before the foundation of the world. This perspective offers comfort and assurance, fostering a deeper appreciation of God's unchanging love. On the other hand, Critics argue that this doctrine might undermine the significance of faith and personal repentance. They worry that the concept of being justified eternally could diminish the urgency for one to seek forgiveness and strive for moral transformation. The practical implications of this doctrine are far-reaching. It influences our understanding of salvation and God's grace. It challenges us to reconsider the dynamic between divine love and human response. It prompts us to question are we passive recipients of God's justification, or are we active participants in a transformative relationship with the divine? In the grand narrative of theology, eternal justification remains a compelling topic, challenging us to reflect deeper on the nature of God's redeeming love. In our exploration of eternal justification, we've journeyed from its historical origins to its current understanding. We've unraveled the doctrine's roots in theological history, delved into its deep-seated principles, and contemplated its modern perspectives and practical implications. We've discovered how it encapsulates God's boundless love and grace enduring throughout eternity. A profound doctrine indeed. Eternal justification, a profound doctrine that invites us to ponder the eternal nature of God's love and grace. Until next time, may your theological explorations be enlightening.